difficulty I lost I think like three weeks of filming um, so that is why we're so behind I finally figured it out I should have just stuck with my iPhone this is what I get for upgrading but yes we finally got a new camera my friend very graciously traded me this camera for some clothing I'm very into like bartering trading not having to especially with friends like not paying each other um, finding ways to like trade things that we already have it's so fun Anyway, today is Monday. I don't really know what this vlog is gonna be like. I have a crazy week ahead. Um, and then next week I leave for Columbia. So we'll see. I just got home from class. Um, I just got, I went to Barnes & Noble because your girl is in New York Magazine today. I just cried for like an hour because it is just, for me, it wasn't even in like the realm of possibilities of something that would happen in my life that I would be in your magazine. Like I never imagined, like I, I, could, I couldn't even like fathom it. So I've been writing for them here and there. They asked me to write um, this bonnet piece. I wrote it for the online publication and it just came out today. I bought way too many copies um, and I am on page 49. So everyone go get a copy um, and there is my little face, my my name, and my my words. It's just, it's it's crazy. Um, so yes, I bought five copies of these. I plan to send one to my grandma and my parents. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm really, really happy. Oh, I'm trying not to cry again. And then I went to Sephora um, to get myself a little present for, for being in a magazine. Like I did that, I did that all myself, I wrote it. I've like been putting myself out there online and like I deserved a little treat. Anyway, um, I got myself more Benetint because I keep losing mine and I feel like I should just have two. So one of these. And then I got my, I picked up my birthday gift. I just picked up the youth to the people thing. I'm very late on getting that. There's only like two more days left of February. And then I got a new Ilia mascara because mine's starting to get gross and clumpy. I love this mascara. I do feel that it dries out really quickly compared to other mascaras I've had, but I really like it. So I'm too lazy to switch to a new one. Anyway, um, I'm gonna just edit some photos for a little brand deal that I'm working on. I worked on a video with Ghani and Majuri for their new jewelry line. It's so pretty. Wait, actually, let me show you guys the jewelry. They just came out with some jewelry. So here's the first piece. It's like a little ring stunning little two-tone necklace and then a bracelet um and yeah i shot content for them and then do homework i'm on call tomorrow which means that when you're on call for law school usually a lot of professors just do cold calling so like you'll randomly get called on there's no like volunteer with information and you have to be ready to like present the facts of the case some professors are nice like my family law professor and she'll tell us like okay 10 of you are on call this day so that means that like you may or may not be called on, but you should be ready like those days. So tomorrow I'm on call for family law. So I need to make sure I not just like do the reading, but like write really good notes so that I'm ready to talk about it in class. I have an event with the Met Museum tomorrow. I feel like the world's on its head right now. Like what is happening? Um, which I'll take you guys along to. And then yeah, just a week, a crazy week. Alrighty, bye guys. Today I'm somewhere, I don't go a lot, Upper East Side. I'm headed to the Met for a little um, preview of their new costume exhibit, um, Women Dressing Women. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Okay, bye.
Um, I have one minute before my class starts, so I'm gonna make a coffee and start class. I have some little details. That's what we're going to do. Tuesday, um, Wednesday. I doing some reading for class later this afternoon. <clears throat> Gonna get ready to go to Pilates soon. I've been loving Pilates. Um, yeah, just gonna finish up my reading before I go to Pilates class. Great way to start my morning. <music> years so the movements feel very familiar to me um i really really love pilates so far maybe i should start dancing again i don't know my mom is a dance teacher my little sister is like a serious serious dancer she's dancing in college and i don't know i just feel like to not do it seriously is so weird to me but i want to find joy joy in dancing again and moving my body in a dancerly way anyway i'm gonna make a smoothie with my new smoothie blender that I'm obsessed with. It's so good. I'll show you how good it is. I make a smoothie probably every morning. This is what I put in it. Oh my god, I feel like such a fucking influencer right now. Um, diced mangoes, frozen, red raspberries. I always add some yogurt, usually Icelandic. And then this, this is the secret ingredient. This makes it like this, that beautiful, like, Instagram smoothie color um, this and I'm gonna add some spinach today even though it's gonna ruin it but I need to finish off the spinach also add the shroom shield by Goldie um, love this and then I also add maca powder I have no idea what this does it probably does nothing but I don't know I feel like it's in all the smoothies that you get in the store so I bought it <music> smoothie color because I added the dragon fruit. Just got a few PR packages in. I got some Andy swim, sent me some swimwear. Sent me this little cute red bikini. Um, this cute black one. Should be good because I'm going to go on vacation with my boyfriend's parents next week and I need some family friendly swimwear. They also sent me this one but this seems really long. Like I don't think I, I have a short torso I guess. This shoe brand called Either Or reached out if they could send me some shoes. And I said, yes, of course, I love shoes. Um, they make these adorable little Mary Janes. Oh my god, cute little shoe bag. I love a good shoe bag. I love a good shoe bag. Oh my god. These are perfect. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. They look a little big. Okay, come on. I feel like my shoe size is like 7.75, like too big for a seven and a half. Oh no, these fit perfectly. Oh, and they're so comfortable. Cute. That is just a lovely surprise to get. Ever since I started posting like on Instagram more and like gaining the following there, I've been getting a lot more PR than when I was just posting on TikTok and I think that's just because a lot of brands still just really only use Instagram. I was so scared to post on Instagram for so long because I have so many people from like 
my life that follow me and I was like embarrassed and then in December I was like fuck it I don't care anymore I'm missing out on opportunities I like posting videos of my outfits if you want to judge me go for it I do not care and okay stop stop oh my god I'm actually crying right now um this is from LOQ Loq one of my favorite favorite shoe brands. They sent me some glassware and they sent me a pair of shoes. Um, oh my god. Ooh, the box is a little wet. Damn, that sucks. I really hope the shoes aren't ruined. Shoes got a little wet. That's okay. I got these adorable little fisherman sandals. Like, are you kidding me? Tastes so good. That's amazing. That is amazing. Now I'm just gonna finish up my reading for class. Um, I didn't finish my corporation's reading. It's so fucking boring. Uh, and I don't really wanna be a corporate lawyer. So I'm like, why do I need to learn this? But everyone's like, you should take corporation. So I am taking it. It is making me feel like my brain is rotting or highlighting the fact that my brain has rotted already from probably watching 10 straight years of the Kardashians. I went to Pilates and I just showered and got ready for a little photo shoot I'm doing for a small publication. Um, they're writing a story on me about how I'm in law school and I love fashion and how we can do both. Um, I don't, I have to like pick my own outfit. So I'm wearing this white midi skirt with these um, tights and then I was thinking about wearing my Nikki sweater um, they said just dress like me, and I'm like, this is the most me outfit I can think of. Um, and it's also fucking freezing. Um, this is like the second photo shoot I've done in two weeks where the weather outside is like literally below freezing, and I have to like dress cute. Um, not that I'm complaining, but I am complaining a little bit. Here, let me see if I can show you better. So we have, this is what I'm thinking. Um, it's supposed to be kind of fashion-y, so I'm leaning into it. I'm thinking these shoes um, might be a little too much red. This might be a little crazy. Okay, let me let me think about this. Okay, I'm also thinking about doing this little dress. It's so fun. I just got it from Ghani with this little outfit. And then hair in a scrunchie. Whew, I don't know. This is this crazy? I kind of look like a clown, but like that is what I'm going for. Guys, um, this is what I'm wearing today. These Carhartt overalls, my coziest sweater. I'm going to a friend's like snack company opening party thing. Um, I'm not really sure. It's so rainy outside. I desperately do not want to go and leave my house. Well, it's raining and my train is not running. So let's see if I can get there.
literally the most stunning day it's almost 65 degrees out this is what i'm wearing um, okay i'm wearing this little skirt that sal sal parker sent me it's gorgeous and then this little thrifted top i love it um i think i'm gonna go to the park today maybe central park and just bop around probably gonna end the vlog here Alrighty. Bye guys.